What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel and today we head to Zandvoort for the next race in F1 Manager. And of course, if you missed out on last episode, we were in Belgium for the last race where we obviously had a sprint weekend to get through. And again, it was one without not an, one without incident. There was lots of goings on in that race, so feel free to go check that episode. But in the sprint race, we managed to get 7th and ninth, which to be fair, I think for us is a pretty stable uh, result. Again, the top three teams being weighing above everybody else at the minute and, uh, and showing our battle with Alpine is continuing to go on and then in the full race we managed to get a top six finish which is our highest finish in a good while and um, we've been sort of struggling for the lower end of the points over the past few races to to get pretty close to the top five is, is hopefully a sign of things to come and yeah uh a decent weekend uh i mean gasly went out and dnf'd <laughs> not exactly ideal but esteban managed to pull through with a, a bag full of points so we head to Zandvoort on a new lease of life, hopefully, with this summer break, hopefully bringing more results for us. Car development, the underfloor is about to be finished in the next couple of days over the race weekend, so we will be getting that built in time for Monza. And a new front wing, our fifth front wing of the season, actually, which is kind of the highest upgrades I think we've had, which is interesting. That might be a, a tale of things to come, hopefully. Um, that's obviously been put in place over the summer break, so that won't be finished for a little while yet. Um, but we do have side pods and suspension being researched for the next season. So again, a lot of happenings going on in the factory at the moment, and rightly so, because we are trying to push as much performance out of this year's car and as much development into next year's car so that we can hit the ground running for 2027. So yeah, in terms of manufacturing, nothing going on at the moment. Everything's looking pretty fine and dandy. Of course, we're keeping a pretty sustainable gap over Aston Martin at the moment. And yeah, it's just trying to claw back that gap to Ferrari if we can and try and push for that top three finish. But hey, we know it's going to be difficult. We're now sort of in the last sort of eight or nine races of the season. It isn't going to be easy, but we'll keep pushing every race and try and get the most out of these guys that we can. So... Let's go into the next race and see where we're going to qualify. So for qualifying, we managed to get a top 10 finish with Esteban qualifying in 8th. But unfortunately, with a new ERS needed on his car, he will be taking a grid penalty for that. And Pierre got into 12th for his qualifying. But again, he's got a grid penalty coming for an incident in Belgium with the crash he had with his DNF. So he's carrying that over into this race. So again, starting from the back... Not going to be an easy race, but hopefully with these new components on the car, the new engine, etc., etc., hopefully we'll be able to make up some time. Because again, the lap times we were getting looked pretty decent and competitive. So let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get at least some points on the board in today's race with us starting from the back of the grid. So here we go then. We start in Zandvoort. It's the suspend the grid penalties, sorry, haven't been as bad as I thought they would be. We're starting 11th with Gasly. And 15 for Vocon. So hopefully a strong start can help us in that regard as we go for a driver view at the start of this race. Side by side with Giovinazzi at the moment. Starting on the mediums. A few soft runners around us. So maybe lose a little bit of pace early on. Some used soft wearers as well on there in terms of Verstappen, Perez and Bottas. So that'll be interesting to see what happens with their strategy. Maybe they're going for maybe a hard tyre in the middle of their race. But early on, we're sticking to the positions that we're in. And not losing too much time on everybody. So hopefully that continues as we get towards the end of lap one. We stay in 11th and 15th. And as we head towards lap three now, everyone's still tightly bunched together. Arcon has managed to jump a place and get in front of Ricardo. And it was a pretty impressive overtake as well. You didn't really see it there from that angle, but he went round the outside and managed to get in front of him. And now he's up to 14th. So Arcon making inroads early on. So we're into lap four now, and we're currently defending against Joe. Again, himself on medium tyres, so not too much of a surprise. Again, Alpine have been sort of the team that we've been battling the most over the past few races. Of course, Aston Martin, the ones chasing us as well from from in terms of being in fifth, chasing us in fourth. Um, they're currently in eighth and ninth with Piastri and Stroll. But again, the, the field's quite tightly packed together in that middle pack, so... 
who knows where we're going to end up. I think top six is probably going to be a push today based on how the early pace is going. But of course, if crashes happen, things can happen in, in F1 in the races where teammates collide. You know, we've seen it a few times with the Claire and Verstappen over the years where they've they've managed to collide a few times. That can just jumble things up a bit with safety cars. So, again, the race isn't over with five laps gone. We've still got a long way to go. We've got 67 laps to try and make the most of our positions and see if we can get back into the points. And Gasly certainly trying to defend for his life here in front of Joe. I would suspect Joe's probably going to get in front of him and Ocon's not far behind either. So... Let's see how this progresses as we are now six laps in. And we're into lap eight now. And as you can see, we're right on the tail of Joe. But like you can see behind the Aston Martins, there is a hell of a DRS train here from around eighth and where Stroll is, chasing down Sonoda all the way down to about 14th. Um, so again, that middle pack of cars, sort of the best of the rest behind the top three teams. There is a real fight on to get that title. And again, we are in the mix. We've just got some work to do if we're going to get up there, I think. And we're into DRS territory now, trying to use a bit of ERS to go around the inside or outside. I'm not 100% sure. But Joel's trying to get in front of Giovinazzi right now. And Piastri's holding the teammates up for, for a stroll. And again, it's going to be another lap without another overtake. So, again, 10 laps in. And the struggle continues. Ocon not really making inroads either on De Vries. And we go down. Oh, we managed to get past Joe oh, there. Great overtake. Now, this might be the crucial component of who can get past Giovinazzi the quickest. Because if we can get break that sort of lag <laughs> of teams behind Giovinazzi at the minute, as we go in with DRS and ERS, but nothing doing. So, I have to charge back up the ERS. And hopefully, in a few laps, we'll be able to make another push. But... Good signs that we're being able to get back in front of Joe. Let's see if we can get in front of Giovinazzi with the next few laps. As Ocon, just as we say that about lack of overtakes, Ocon gets in front of De Vries eventually. Again, De Vries, this season has been a defensive stalwart. He's been able to keep us behind him for long periods of time. And this race is no exception as we go into that, that hairpin, that U-bend, whatever you want to call it at the end of the track. Um... We managed to make the overtake there, so Ocon up into 13th now. And as we're heading into lap 13, Joe has got in front of us, though we are going to go side by side with the DRS. Well, he's pulling away. Uh, we should have had DRS there. We were less than a second behind him. He'd got his nose in front by the time we got to the detection window. But never mind, as we get back in front of him. And still trying to find a way past Giovinazzi. Ocon trying to put pressure for his teammate on Joe and we're just hoping we can uh, break this in the near future but again this middle pack from about 8th to 14 to 15 now because Sargent's joined the race is very tight indeed we're looking to go around the outside there Giovinazzi but it doesn't quite happen this lap so here we go then, we're getting a good run at this last corner with DRS enabled. Can we make a move on Giovinazzi? Not quite getting the... DRS isn't being as effective as we need it to be really. We're going to need to push on all boundaries, I think, on that straight if we're going to get Giovinazzi. There's not really a lot of overtaking opportunities in Zandvoort. It is a very tight track. Um, for a track that isn't a street circuit, it is very tight to try and overtake. There's the couple of DRS zones give you the opportunity, but that's about it on this track. So let's keep pushing. Let's see what we can do. It's going to come. It's just we need to get it done sooner rather than later, I think. Oh, and Giovinazzi's made a move on Piastri. So we're talking about trying to break the boundary of Giovinazzi, but he's managing to break Piastri, and we're getting in front of the young Aussie right now. Don't know if he's on used softs, is he? Yes, he's on very used softs. As is Giovinazzi. I think Giovinazzi has been pushing like crazy, mind. But there's going to be a few pit stops coming soon. I don't think it's going to be very long until that comes in. But we managed to get in front. And there we go. We get past Giovinazzi now into ninth position. So not only did we manage to get into points, now we've got to try and chase down Stroll, who is on similar ties to us at the minute. And Giovinazzi's got back in front of us. Oh, my Lord. Bit of a... Unexpected move there. There's a gap formed between us and Giovinazzi and the chasing pack where Ocon's part of. But again, fair play to Giovinazzi. Pushing that Williams as far as it can. 
And we come back with a DRS, go around the outside of turn one. And he comes back again. I think he's ringing out the very last inches of these tyres now, Giovinazzi. And Ocon gets in front of Piastri. It's all happening in these early laps. Again, turn one, we go down the inside. Piastri hasn't really developed as much as I thought he would now that we're sort of four seasons in. He is languishing in that Aston Martin. So, again, that Aussie driver needs a bit of confidence, I think. I think he's lacking for it. But we managed to make it work for ourselves and we get Ocon in front of Piastri. Now chasing down Joe. And like I was saying, the pit stops are starting to happen now. Bottas has come in, so we move up into eighth whilst overtaking Giovinazzi. So again, trying to just keep this position for a little while longer. And again, it's side-by-side -side stuff. You can see Joe now cl closing in very tightly. And here we go then. We go on to the DRS straight. Is this going to give an opportunity to the cars behind us to get in front? Not just yet. We're going to deploy to try and keep ourselves in front. And Perez comes in for his pit stop. And we go up to seventh. So once again, making it work for us, trying to get this strategy to work. Giovinazzi is hanging this car out for as long as possible. He's on 36%. Verstappen himself is on 30%. So, again, teams really pushing the boundaries of what they can do with these tyres. And we open this gap up now to over a second over Giovinazzi and getting to within Stroll's DRS territory as well. And going down the inside on the U-turn. And we get in front and we've got DRS. So we get ourselves up into six now. Verstappen so far ahead. His pit stop didn't really affect us. But, again, fantastic from Gazi to get these places in these last few laps. So Russell's coming to the pits now, so we move up into the top five. Again, you can see that train behind us, including our own teammate. So it's not a proven to be an easy one. But again, I mean, Bottas is rapidly approaching this, this pack as well. He's starting to get very close to us indeed. So again, a long way to go in this race if we're going to hold on to these positions. But good that we're fighting for points positions at the minute. Just got to keep pushing and seeing what we can do. And just as Norris sets the fastest lap, we bring Ocon in. And we're going to bring Gasly in to do his hard tyre stint. We are doing something a little bit different with Gasly. Trying to get a long stint with the hard tyres so he can have some performance with the softs and hopefully chase a few positions towards the end of the race. But Ocon's had a pit stop issue and he's had a four second stop. So that tumbles him back down into 15th. So starting again is Ocon, but we'll see what he can do with this medium stint. And Gasly comes in now. At the beginning of lap 26. Decent stop time again. 3.1. And we should be in fairly good ground. And in terms of the pack that we were part of. They're on pretty used tyres. So we've got to try and close this gap down now. With these hard tyres. And yeah. Try and get the most out of this stint really. So about a third of the way through the race. And we're pretty much where we started. So... Let's see what we can do. So Ocon's just overtaken Albon as a result of Albon pitting. Again, Mercedes having an absolutely shocker of a season. Currently sitting in 18th and 19th. And again, it's going to be a hell of a rebuild for whoever takes that job on. Strolls in for his pit stop now as we're coming down the final straight. And we move up into 10th and get in front of him. I don't know what he's on in terms of tyres. He's on soft, so you would imagine he's probably going to start charging through that pack pretty quickly. But again... We knew that we might lag a little bit in speed, but hopefully the longer stint on the hards helps us with giving us those fresh softs at the end of the race. So all part of the strategy. Let's see if we can execute. There's Giovinazzi now onto the back of us. Sergeant pitting as well. So whilst we might stay in, we might get up to ninth. We're probably going to lose that position sooner or later, though Giovinazzi's tyres are down to 71%. So obviously the longer we can keep him around us, the better as Ocon gets in front of Piastri as well to move up into 11th. Let's see if we can get Ocon to help his teammate out and put a bit of pressure on Giovinazzi. Giovinazzi going around the outside there at the start of lap 31, but he doesn't quite make it stick. Gasly defending that well. So both Alpines coming in for pit stops now as we head into lap 32. And again, not a bad position to be in as we move up into 7th again. So again, in the fight for some decent points again today. I think top six is going to still be out of our reach, though. And look at that pack behind us. If you look at that map in the right-hand side of the track, look at how tight that is. And we're 
almost halfway through the race now. Like, this is... Anything could happen territory right now. And Archon is on the back of his teammate. And hopefully, it's going to make an overtake in this DRS section. And then we can use Gasly to try and defend a little bit and see what Archon can do with free air. As Archon does indeed make that overtake into turn one of lap 33. The boys doing a really good job of helping each other out here and using that DRS to try and pull Gasly along. Ocon helping his teammate out as we still stay in 7th and 8th. Giovinazzi defending the two Alpines and, well, where's the other Alpine? Oh, shows down in 16th. He's defending Sonoda pretty well, to be fair, considering he's on 20% less performance on his tyres. Um, so, yeah, as, as long as that keeps happening and Giovinazzi keep him behind, I think more hope we have of maybe holding Sonoda back but again it's all about the ball about executing these stints as, as long as possible and having as fresh a tyre as we can heading into sort of the last stint there and then that's maybe when we make up some positions or make back those positions hopefully to get back into the top 10 so yeah we're doing pretty well I can't really complain of where we're at I think considering where we had to start with grid penalties I'd certainly take this if this was the finish, but I'd easily take 8th and 9th or 9th and 10th. I would happily take a double points finish with where we had to start. So yeah, halfway through the race now. Let's keep pushing. It's been a few laps now since we've given you an update, but again, we've just sort of been operating in a pretty nice window where Ocon's been helping Gasly stay within a second and use that DRS. So the teammate's really playing the team game right now and keeping Gasly in front of Sonoda. Um, whose tyres are starting to drop off a little bit. They're on 61%. Bottas coming in for his pit stop now. And we are chipping away at Perez this time as well. We are less than three seconds behind the Ferrari driver as Gasly now looks to make a move and uh, try and push on. But Ocon coming straight back at him, thinking, hang on a second, mate. I've been helping you out all this time. Why are you pushing on? But Pierre makes that move stick. And now, let's see what happens here. Does Pierre stay with Ocon? Or does he not help out his teammate? Because, again, Ocon needs a bit of help here. But he manages to keep him within a second. So, yeah. Again, teamwork is making the dream work, it would appear. So, Russell's coming in for his pit stop now on lap 43. And we get in front of him. Again, I don't think the gap's going to be that huge. But, again, it gives us something to work with as we move into the top five. Still a three-second gap over Perez. And Ocon's still got about, what, 10-ish laps to go until he pits, as does Gaz has got a few more than that. So, again, we're sort of only halfway through the stints, just over halfway through the stints now. And the pit stops are going to start coming into question again. And we can have a couple of clean pit stops. That will really help us out. So let's see what the boys can do over the next few laps. Goes down the inside, does Gasly, and gets that overtake done. And now he's going to start pushing to try and stretch this lead over Sonoda if he can. And as long as Ocon can stick behind him, we might... Oh, it's now Sargent. Sargent's now moved up into seventh position. So Haas running well this weekend on slightly fresher softs than Sonoda as well. So is Sargent going to try and make a move here and hurt our chances? I think this is really the first time we've had like a very long sustained DRS train like this. As Perez now pits and we move up into fourth, but again, 18 seconds off the top three. So no chance of a podium this weekend unless something drastic really happens with the guys in front and really with the guys chasing us behind as well. So, But like I say, I'm really happy with what the boys have been able to do here. We've been able with hard tyres to put in a sustained lap of pressure and really putting pressure on Ferrari to do the work Um so yeah, we'll see what they do, what we can do with this last stint. Because again, Perez is going to be on mediums. We're going to be on softs. Hopefully that gives us a bit of an advantage. And we can try and chase down that sixth position. And as you can see, the gap's opened up now. The Ocon's tyres are starting to wear out. And Sargent has made the overtake. He's on 42%, so I'm not too concerned by that. But again, if we need to start seeing Gasly pushing again. Um, and trying to keep Sergeant behind him for as long as possible. I mean, that Haas is looking pretty rapid on those soft tyres. I'm not going to lie. But hopefully it isn't going to be a case of Haas staying in front for a prolonged period of time. So Joe does get in, in front of Ocon with about 20 laps or so to go. But again, Ocon's done some really good work for us there in helping Gasly out and keeping him in DRS for a prolonged period of time. 
And now it's just whether or not Gasly can go and execute. Um, but yeah, we're currently sat in fourth, getting chased down by the Haas. Let's see what we can do with this last in. And as you can see, we've just hit the pit window now for Gasly. With 20 laps to go. And Joel is really trying to make an effort here to get in front of us. He's on very worn soft tyres. 36% left on those tyres. And he comes in for the pit. He isn't able to make that overtake. So we managed to hang on to fourth here. Again, doing really well is Gasly. We've got Ocon to come in in the next lap or so. So we're going to pit him for these not exactly brand new softs, but not exactly bad softs either. There's been a crash as well, though. And it's Sonoda and Schumacher crashing into each other in turn one. Not a big crash, though, so nothing to worry about in terms of a safety car. But again, we're going to bring Ocon in and get him onto these soft tyres. And hopefully he can uh, show us how it's done on these softs. Slightly prolonged stop there from Ocon, but he comes out in 11th. And stays out in front of Stroll. And now he's got soft tyres to operate on. Let's see if he can start making some overtakes. So Bottas is overtaking us as we would expect him to. He's caught up to us eventually. We're just trying to create as big a gap as possible with Gasly and these tyres. Um, so that when he pits, hopefully he comes out around 10th. And there's a virtual safety car. Is that going to help us stay in front? Let's see what happens here. Everything is okay. DRS disabled. So virtual safety car in place. That might help us. That might help us. We're not going to lose loads of time to the Ferraris now. Clean stop, boys. Clean stop. That's okay. Okay, so we stay in front of Ocon. We're in ninth. Okay, so we're going to have a good run at the Ferraris, hopefully. Okay, that makes it interesting. With 15 laps to go. A bit of luck going our way, finally. <laughs> so virtual safety car is now ending. And we're going to deploy and push with Gasly straight away. Try and get a jump on Joe. Same with Ocon, pushing with him as well. Trying to get him to close down this gap a little bit. I mean, he's 11 seconds behind his partner. But again, Ocon did his job early on and kept Gasly in the fight. It's now Gasly has got to go execute and try and catch up to these Ferraris if he can. Let's see what he can do in these early laps. So as you can see, the bunch up between 6th to ninth is... Like it has been all race is is there, but this time it includes Ferrari, and this is this is a crucial moment really for us because this is going to tell us whether Gasly's the guy to take us forward in the long term. He's obviously going to be here at the moment anyway, unless something drastic really happens with the second half of the season. He is going to be here next year alongside Fio, but really. We need to see a performance here. I mean, Sargent is now in front of Perez, so hopefully that means Perez is going to be in our clutches as well. But again, this is a big moment for Gasly. He needs to step up here and make some overtakes. With 10 laps to go, can he get himself into a position where he can chase down Sargent and Joe and maybe Russell as well because he's going to have really fresh tyres in comparison to the rest of the grid. He goes down the inside of Perez and makes that overtake pretty quickly with DRS on. And now it's all about trying to get in front of Sargent. And as you can see, coming to the end of the current lap, we go around the outside of Sargent. Can we make it stick? Can use a bit of ERS just to get the job done, hopefully. Keeping our noses in front for now. And we do, we manage to make it stick. And now we've got a three second gap to try and cut down to Joe, who is himself chasing down Russell. So top six. Could be on the board here, ladies and gentlemen. And there's a lapped car getting in the way of our progress here. We need him to move out the way. I think it's Drugovic. But we managed to clear him. And now the gap is down to 1.7 seconds. We've got six laps to go, seven laps to go to try and get in front of Joe and then maybe push on to Russell because Joe is chasing Russell down. 
Russell. Russell. <laughs> and Joe has got in front of Russell. And again, we're chasing him down using DRS, going down the inside of the U-turn. Using DRS to its maximum capability. And Gasly gets in front of Russell and he's doing exactly what we need him to now. The half a second gap between himself and Joe. Can we get... Can we maybe even push on to Bottas? Because there's only a few seconds between Bottas and he's on really used mediums. Top four, not, not out of possibility, but we need to concentrate on Joe. We can't get ahead of ourselves. And we go down the inside of Joe this time. And we move up into fifth. Beautiful driving from Gasly in this stint. Is he making it stick to a Joe coming back? He keeps himself in front. And he's up into fifth. Big points on the board at the minute. The way things are standing. We've got three laps to try and cut down this time to Bottas. And get a top four finish. Which would be a fantastic result. Considering where we started. And again that middle stint. And Ocon helping him out has really helped the team here. Let's see what Gasly can do. And we're down to within a second of Bottas now. And we get the DRS. So top four may be on. We've opened the gap between ourselves and Joe as well. Two laps to go. And it's all on the board. We're also trying to chop down. Oh, final lap has started. So pretty much at the start of our second to last lap now. And he's got a few. He's got a... Just over a lap now to try and get this position here. Does uh, does Gasly over Bottas? Again, would be ecstatic with a top five finish. So we are going to push until the very end. And see what we can do. Ocon also chasing down Sergeant right now. He's fighting for ninth. So here we go then. Final lap. Ocon finishes 0 0.044 behind Sergeant. So he was really chasing him down. And now we're hoping that Gazi can make some sort of overtake on this DRS straight. Can he do it? He's looking down the inside. He's looking around the outside. Can he make an overtake here on this last last corner? Goes down the inside. DRS open. And he's managed to cross the line. And he's ran out of fuel. Just managed to pull it off. We get top four by half a second. Yes. And what a finish that was, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. Top four finish. Couldn't have asked for better. Again, Ocon got himself a point. He did very well. He worked very hard for that point, but he deserved it. And Gasly jumping up seven positions to get a top four finish. Our best finish in a race for a very long time. Way off the podium. No doubt about that. But again, it gives us confidence heading into some tracks that hopefully suit us more than they hinder us. So, drivers championship-wise, I think it's pretty much done. 100 points between Max and his teammate Charles. Constructors-wise, we make up three points on Ferrari. Again, not a big jump, but it is a big jump on Aston Martin. So, we are solidifying that top four right now. And again, just chip it. Got to try and get these performances on a more consistent basis. And maybe, just maybe, we might be able to chip away at that Ferrari lead. And in some other news, we get Gasly, after that performance, to go up to a 91. So his performance getting even better. Hopefully a sign of things to come. Where hopefully in the next season we can give him a much stronger car which can fight for podiums on a consistent basis. But yeah, fantastic that Gasly is still developing at this point in his career. And hopefully, like I say, it's a sign of things to come. And the underfloor design is now complete. So that will be getting manufactured in the near future don't think it'll be ready in time for monza but it will be ready for singapore so yeah i think that's a fantastic result overall for us i, I don't think we could have had much better um the fact that gazi was able to cling on to the back of ocon made a big difference even on hard tires um and yeah we just managed to execute it pretty perfectly so yeah fantastic result as i say we go into italy with renewed hope now with a bit of consistency over the past few races um or the past couple of races hopefully monza can be another good day at the office for us and as always folks if you have enjoyed the episode don't forget to like share and subscribe one more thing before i do go i just wanted to say um a big shout out to everybody that watches the video but there is a particular person who will know who they are who tends to comment on every single one um who had been missing for a little bit of a little bit of a while but again wasn't a big concern to me um as long as they were okay because i know they were going through a tough moment and 
it turned out that they had been going through a bit of a tough moment um and it's totally understandable why maybe they hadn't been commenting and and stuff like that but i just wanted to give a shout out to them and hope that they're feeling better um as time goes on i know what they're going through at the moment having lost a, a very close loved one myself um and yeah i just wanted to shout them out as they've been a big supporter of the channel and of and just know that we're with you buddy uh through through what you're going through at the moment and yeah um i hope these videos can help you as well uh, through this tough time and as well as anybody that watches these videos if you are going through a tough time and you get some get half an hour of enjoyment out of these um with the work that me and dadson do on these videos i hope that it does help you through whatever tough times you may be going through whether big or small if it helps you in any way and gives you a bit of relief through the day then that's all i can ask for really but yeah hopefully you're all having a good day as good as you can if you're in tough circumstances and yeah just keep your chin up it will get better um and yeah let's let's keep pushing on let's keep doing this together um and the good times will come around again i fully believe that so yeah let's end the episode there again thanks everyone for watching and yeah i'll see you on the next one when we head to monza for the next grand prix thanks very much guys see you soon